One thing I love doing is watching videos that absolutely boggle my brain. Now, in a world that we live in, you probably go, what boggles your brain? Well, we have this big-eyed Elmo-looking fella here, it's joking, it's a woman, who has a child, you know, that popped out of her womb, that popped out of her female genitals. You know, in order to create a baby, she must have intercourse with generally a man these days. Anything will do as long as it produces, you know, the fish that reaches the egg. <laughs> There's a good bit of biology lesson for you. If you didn't know how it worked, you're welcome. And well, she, her son, um, her, 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 her child, you know, that she gave birth to herself, identified as a cat. A cat. As in like, you know, a house cat. One that sits on your lap and you stroke and it digs its claws into you really painfully. I'm, I'm not, you don't believe me. Well, I don't blame you for not believing me, but I promise you, it's true. My son does identify as a cat. Bang. But I cannot take him to a vet. Because Straight away identifies as a cat because you can't take him to the vet because he's not a cat. You know, I identify as a fucking genius. It doesn't make me a genius. I identify as the man with the largest penis in the g -g -g galaxy. Doesn't mean it's true. I identify as a human caterpillar centipede forward slash ogre. If you do not refer to me as Shrek, you're a racist, bigoted piece of sexist shit. And I will not accept it. But it doesn't matter if I go to Shrek Swamp, he's going to accept me as one of his fucking own. And I'm not green. You know? Like, how could you... Because I tried that, and the veterinarian told me that because he has human anatomy, that he does not know how to, to work on him or diagnose him with anything. Um, and he legally cannot. So, and while I do think that is a form of discrimination... <laughs> Oh my god, white girls and the word discrimination. They just love it. They can't wait. They just can't resist waiting just to use it and use that word. You're discriminating against me. I can't even say the word, but you're discriminating against me. How dare you? That's the one thing, yeah. Discrimination. Uh, sorry. There is a queue of genuine cats that are ill, dogs that need their hair trimming, and, I don't know, fish that need their water changing. Why does your man, your, your man, your dog... Your dog, your son. <laughs> Why does your son, well, who can go to a hospital, I know health insurance is a bit of a bastard out in America, I get that, so it might be, you know, quicker and easier and probably cheaper to disguise himself as a cat to get his hernia done. But I promise you, there are more important actual animals that need checking. And plus, imagine if a man, you know, imagine if the vet goes and does this and checks, right, I need to put you to sleep, all right? <laughs> Just starts drooling, all right, on the... Oh, uh, she needs a bit more. Uh, he needs a bit more. <laughs> Oh no, I've done too much. Yeah, you're gonna have to carry him home like a like a rag doll. Yeah, put him over your shoulder and hold square. You know, it's it's not discrimination, woman. Just because you're white and can't use the word yourself does not mean because your son is a pretend cat or likes to put cat ears on when he plays Minecraft does not make him one. Does not mean it's discrimination. There are more. You know, I'd rather the animals were seen to than your silly little son. You know, because you know, my son, if he says he's a cat, he is a cat. I'm trying to let the video play, but this this is cray cray. This is ludic like this is nonsense. This is witchcraft. If someone like this said this 300 years ago, they'd be hung, drawn, and quartered because they think that they were growing demons in the back of their garden. You know why is it? I have turned my son into a cat. Uh, no, you haven't. He's 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 definitely still normal. I've turned him into a cat. Like he's got cat ears. No, they're f they're fake. Um, does he pee outside? No, he stands up and uses the toilet. Oh, so he's not really a cat. Does he Does he climb in his little box and, you know, sk sk oh, he, do he doesn't do that either. You know, I'd actually like to see how cat this person is. Or does he just say, I'm a cat because he's bored and wants to stick a tail up his arse cheeks or something? And I'm sorry to say that because I know it's a child, but you know what I mean? Like, these poor children have been brainwashed into thinking this shit's normal. It's kids who are a bit sad, a bit lonely. They might have not loads of friends and they want to stand out. They, you know, not in a rude way. I'm not saying they're attention seeking because that's not true, but they, they want to, you know, be seen. It's sad, but dressing up as cat is not a w good way to be seen. You know, wear a high vis or something. That's, that's a good way to get spotted. Um... And he needs to be treated like that, like one, you know? But um, I'm not going to press charges because I know that... You wouldn't win, for starters. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to press charges because the uh, vet who operates on animals and not humans decided to operate on a human, not an animal. Oh, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. What a, what a piece of shit. Let's, let's boycott this vet. How dare he? Let, how dare he not cover his own ass and not endanger the life of a child by doing an unforeseen surgery on him? And the fact that he said she was like, oh, because he identifies as a cat. He is a cat. Uh, okay. Is that what you think? He could lose his license if I, if he did work on my son. So, um, I'm not gonna 
I'm not going to try to sue him or anything, so don't worry. But this is something that I want to raise awareness on because I do think that people that identify as an animal should be able to go to the vet. You know, that's the that's the medical attention that they're wanting. Um, and so I really do appreciate you asking this question. I think it's... Imagine, so let, let, let's say, for, to, to uh, satisfy these what I would call idiots, you might have another word for them. Let's pretend that, okay, we, we, we accept her proposal. Okay, you can now visit a vet. You've got to come in with your fucking son on a leash, in a little box. It doesn't matter if he fits or not. He's getting stuffed in that shit. You can carry him, all right? Just you. See how well you do carrying that thing around, all right? And we can do this sort of experimentation. All right, what's wrong with the cat? Oh, she needs some teeth pulling out. Come here, don't worry. Pull the teeth out. Let's see how fucking good he looks after that when he's not. Because guess what? Cats don't get given prosthetic teeth, I don't think. But anyway, my cat didn't anyway. Um, you know, didn't get, get fake any teeth. And I've never heard of a cat with fake teeth, to be honest. This isn't, you know, dentures you get put in. Let's see how he reacts then. Or a horrible operation where you've got to have your tail cut off, all right? How about let's cut off the tail and see if he still wants to be a fucking cat? Because I, I think the uh, the overall root, uh, aura, the overall smell in the room will change and he'll go ah no i want to keep it it's like no get your fucking ass over here son it's going it's gone you want to be a cat so bad you got to live like one you know what i mean oh shit mate absolute do thank you for asking the question i find it really insightful and i find it really genuine that you're asking me this question yeah it's really great shut up ah oh, god it's honestly it's an illness i'm so i'm sorry i'm so happy for you to try change gender and be happy and will not identify as a gender i don't care about that you know i understand people don't fit into the molds and that's fine but you're not a cat you're just not a cat it's you're not if you want to be a human who is you know got ears that's fine but you're not a cat the cat walks around, you know, being moody and mowing and asking for its food, which is probably pretty similar to you. It's an important topic that we discuss because if if we don't, we're never going to make progress. And these people that identify as cats are going to have to continue going to human doctors. And I just don't think that that's fair. So, yeah, I think, honestly, what we should do is we should open up a vet, like a fake vet, and just treat it as a hospital. You know what I mean? See see if they notice any difference. Because a vet ain't going to save these. Ain't going to save anyone. This woman here is in, has infected her son. It's, it's, it's child abuse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's child abuse. If you don't think it is, then go. Just go. Just leave. Just leave the planet, mate. Go find Elon Musk. Ask him where the local taxi to space is one way and jump in, mate. And don't come back. Because if you think that this is healthy for a child to confuse use them even more so with what's going on in their body hormones this that and the other and then to say no you're a cat that's no that's cool that's good bro i've always wanted to have a cat why didn't you fucking buy one then why did you give birth to a son and then infiltrate his mind and tell him you can be a cat why don't you be a cat reginald instead i've always wanted a little pussy cat to stroke and you know you won't be able to speak again like do you think this kid speaks i reckon he speaks cats don't speak they're meow what happens when this cat wants some food oh does he use english well you're not a cat you're not a cat then. Oh, what about when the cat needs to go to the toilet? Oh, he stands up and pisses in the sink. Oh, you're not a cat. You're not a cat. Big one. Do you think he eats cat food? Fuck no. I don't think cats want to eat cat food. That shit's nasty. That shit's absolutely foul. You really think these guys go around eating cat food? Fuck no, bro. Anyway, people like this, it is a problem to let their kids get away with this. I'm sorry, not going to tell you what to do, but I'm telling you what to do, mate. It's not fair on their brain, on their little brains that are evolving to confuse them with this shit. If someone told me you could be a cat, I'd be like, really? Me? I, I could be a cat. You could be a cat. I'd be like, holy shit, I'm a cat. Fuck that, I want to be a chimpanzee. I would be a chimpanzee by now because I'd want to be a chimpanzee my whole life. And the fact that, oh, yes, uh, this guy, you know, didn't work on my son. I, you know, I'm not going to sue him. Oh, big boy, thank you. I'm not going to lose. He wouldn't lose his license, you donkey. Maybe in California. You didn't, you didn't use your cat skills on the human. The only way, the only place in the universe where you get punished for doing the right thing, isn't it? It's, you know, oh, well done for not doing these unforeseen procedures on a human being that could danger their life. Oh, you scumbag. Thank you. Oh, you prick. Lose your job. Anyway, guys, we're done. Fuck these cat shit, weird stuff. It's a waste of time. Thank you. Good night. Good luck. And look, I'm not taking the, trying to be rude, but it's just ridiculous. It's fucking stupid.